Let's get ready and start installing the printer driver for our new HTP 6600 printer. Before we even get started, let's go ahead and go to the Advanced tab in our printer driver. And we're going to select the Utilities tab. Inside the Utilities tab, we have an option for an Update Manager. If we select the Update Manager and check for Updates, we can make sure that our printer, firmware, as well as the driver are fully up to date with the latest versions. I see that there is a new version available for download. I can select Download right here, and it will begin the download process, and we can then install that printer firmware onto our printer and make sure that it's with the latest firmware available. The firmware has been downloaded. At the bottom right, I can select my printer, my 6600 card printer, and begin updating the firmware. At this point, the firmware is being transferred from my PC onto my printer, and you will see that it go through a reset cycle as well. Our firmware update is complete. You can see it here in the driver. It says Update Complete. And now we can go back to our Advanced tab and start selecting the areas how we'd like to print our card. So if you haven't already, go to hidglobal.com, go to the Drivers and Downloads tab, and you can search for HDP 6600 drivers. I've already downloaded the driver onto my PC, so we're going to go ahead, open the installation package, and we're going to click, let's install the 6600 card driver. We're going to say yes, and it's going to start the driver installation. I'm going to select English because that's the language that we're in today. Uh, we're going to say yes, we do want to install the 6600 printer driver on this computer. We can read through the end user license agreement. I'm going to accept that agreement. Click next. And I'm going to say today I'm going to use a USB connection. So I'm going to say next. Finally, it does ask if we'd like to install the HID printer status monitor. In this case, I would like to install that. Now it's ready and we're going to select next to install the driver. It starts the process, and soon it will ask me to plug in my USB power or USB cord from the printer to the computer. Now it's asking me to plug in my USB and make sure that the printer is powered up. So I'm going to go ahead and flip the switch, turn on my printer, and I'm going to take my USB cord and plug it into my PC. Now my printer driver installation is complete. I'm going to reboot my printer, my computer later and select Finish. After turning on the power switch, it'll take a few seconds. You'll see the display start to illuminate with the HID logo, and then that printer will start to power up. You'll hear some noises, and a few moments later, we'll be ready to print. Now I'm going to walk you through the printer driver, some of the features and functions that it has to offer, and really help you make sure that you've got the right selections based on your criteria. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to open the printer driver. I'm going to click on my Windows bar, on Settings, Devices, and finally Printers and Scanners. Inside my list, I'll see HDP 6600 Card Printer, and I'm going to go ahead and select Manage. Inside here, finally, we're going to select Printing Preferences. Now you're going to see the HID Driver Setup screen. The basic setup screen allows us to select if we want to print on one side of the card or both sides of the card, portrait orientation or landscape orientation. It's going to detect the ribbon, colors, color selections, and finally the card type. The card type is very important, and we want to make sure that you select the actual card type that you're using in your office environment. So today, I am using an HID Fargo UltraCard Premium Card. We do have options for additional HID cards uh, if you're not using an UltraCard Premium, but today we're using a Premium. Next, I'm going to click on the Advanced tab. Within the Advanced tab, we have a myriad of options. Inside here, there is print mode, ribbon colors, K-resin printing. There's a lot you can do in the driver. We really ask that you reference your user guide. It'll really help explain what all these features and functions do and how to best utilize them. Inside the card area up top here in the device settings, there's a setting called image transfer. If you're using a technology card and you're having issues where the transfer film is not properly releasing from the card, 
perhaps it's something that we can tune within the printer itself. So don't get discouraged. We can come in here, we can alter some of the dwell times, which is really how long it takes for that card to traverse through the printer in, in inches per second. And finally, some of the temperature offsets. We do have some helpful videos to help walk you through that, so don't be afraid to go to our HID Academy YouTube channel where all that video, video content is present. As you walk through here, today we are gonna use some default settings. This is really what allows us to make some preferences within the, the driver itself of how we wanna print on our card. One thing we do wanna highlight here is the color correction tab. Today, I'm using the default color correction. We also have a legacy selection. And really that is for customers of ours that have used legacy printers, such as an HTP 5000, in their workplace prior to acquiring a new HTP 6600. If you want your cards to look exactly like they did out of an HTP 5000, we really recommend that you go ahead and select legacy as your color correction method. If you want them to utilize the latest color profiles that we've developed for the 6600, go ahead and leave it on default. Today, we're gonna print on default. In the utilities tab, I can go ahead and do a test print. There's a number of options that I can select and pick from. I wanna pick a card with some nice colors. So I'm gonna select this for the front. We're gonna select another color image for the back. Now, I'm gonna select print. We're gonna print a test card from our 6600 to give you an idea of how those cards look coming out of the printer. The card is done printing, comes into our output hopper, simply retrieve it and you're good to go.